Hi guys, this is Jeff at Slavens Racing. This video is about Bulletproof Designs radiator guards. Uh, I've been using these for ever since they came out. I don't know how, how many years ago that was, but a long time ago. We've also been selling them for many years. Um, it's an excellent product. I consider it the best radiator guard on the market, period. I don't even think there's a close second place. And I'm going to go over why. So, uh, And I'm also going to show you a couple little tips on Instagram on uh, installing them. So with the uh, later model KTMs, I think 17 and up, they've gone to this plastic uh, bolt-on style louvers that go in front of the radiator. And I've had guys tell me, oh, I've, I've used those radiator guards in the past, but this year I'm going to go to, I'm just going to leave the stock louvers on there because they're really strong. Well, I'm sorry, but they're not. They're plastic. And plastic has very little structural integrity. You know, on a front, front or side impact, these things are going to crush. I mean, there's just, there's just nothing to them. So, let's forget about that. Um, now, I just want to show you how these things are built. So, here's the back side of them. And you can see they've built in these, they've really left a lot of material in here and down here to give it extra uh, side impact protection as well as this is you know everything else in here is going to give it side impact protection as well and I mean, I mean these have as good a side protection as anything on the market all the the stamped aluminum ones uh, that have the strap around the back guys keep saying well I want ones that have the strap on the back well this those have to have the strap because there's no there's very little structural integrity to the design and the strap will buckle as well on a side impact. So the strap is really kind of a joke. Uh, I mean, it helps some, but it's, uh, you know, it gives you a, a false sense of security. It, it does, doesn't do very much. Uh, so I just kind of want to show you, there's, you know, these start out as a solid chunk of aluminum billet. So it's a big chunk. And then they have them in the CNC mill and they machine them down. Uh, and it's very nice machining. So, you know, like I said, they're by Bulletproof Designs. And uh, one of the owners there is Bud. And I call him Bad Bud because he is uh, a machining whiz. I mean, Bud uh, has, has exceptional talent in machining. So you can uh, just see how, they're, how it's all designed and cut out in here. There's little slots over here that hooks into the radiator. So that's the outside mount to tie it into the radiator, and then these bolts over here fasten to the frame. So I'm going to mount a set of these up and then go a little bit further here. Here's one, the right side one mounted on the, on the bike now. I'm sorry that I've kind of, that's kind of in the shade right there, so it doesn't show real well, but uh, they're very easy to install. I really don't need to go through that. I mean, there's a you can see this little piece right here on the radiator that runs all the way down. Or, no, not all the way down, uh, but for a section there and a section down at the bottom. And so there's a slot in the guard here that fits in over that. And then you just slide it over that, and then you just put the two bolts, bolts in, one there, one down here. And then make sure, you know, sometimes the... They tend to want to, the bolts would tend to want to start a little crooked. So if, you, if it's not turning real smooth, then stop and figure it out. Back it up, go in a little slightly different angle. Maybe run a tap in there to clean up the threads or whatever. But the bolts should go in pretty easily. Um, so that's it for the mounting. And then I just want to address some common questions we get. So. One is guys see the pictures on our website and they go, wow, those look really wide. Looks like they're going to make my shroud stick out farther. Well, I agree they do look wide in the picture, but they're no wider than the stock ones, other than the stock louvers. So the shrouds don't stick out any farther than they did stock. So that's a, a non-issue. Uh, other questions we get are, oh, Will a fan kit work with them? That's the most common question we get. Will the fan kit work? Well, as you can see here, the guards mount on the front of the radiator, 
and fan kits are on the back. So there is no interference with the fan kit, none whatsoever. And uh, guys also kind of ask, what's this big section down here for? Well, that's to protect the tank on the bottom of the radiator. That's a feature that they added, I don't know, two or three years ago. So there's that. And then uh, one of the benefits that most of us don't know about is because it connects to the radiator, you know, this is a big chunk of aluminum, and so it acts as a heat sink. It pulls the heat off of the radiator and actually has the potential of making the engine run cooler. And uh, if you... You know, if you're riding along in your bike, you've been riding for a while, stop and feel that, feel that guard. It, it's warm. You know, it's, sometimes it's really warm. And then flow. That's another question that we get quite often. Well, uh, I had some you know, guys say, well, I had some air guards on my bike, and they made my bike run hot, so I don't use air guards anymore. Well, that's because it was a poorly designed radiator guard or brace, whatever. And uh, these do absolutely do not do that. They increase the flow over the stock louvers. We've done flow bench testing, and they definitely increase the flow. Uh, let me think if there's any other common questions we get on these. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, every once in a while, we do get somebody call us up and say, well, I mounted those bulletproof guards, and now my handlebars, uh, you know, my fork, my turning radius is a lot less than it was. It runs into the radiator guard. Well, no. That's because they're mounted wrong. They're mounted on the wrong side and upside down. And the first clue is that logo right there should be readable. It should be on the bottom and it should be readable. It sh you shouldn't have to stand on your head to read it. So if that's not there, then you've made a mistake. I think that's about it, guys. Like I said before, uh, you know, they're pricey, but they're worth every penny. Uh, radiators are not cheap. And especially a big, a big bummer if you're out in a, you know, on a ride and you just have a, somewhat of a simple crash in a, in a rock garden or over jumping a log, and you crush your radiator and it starts leaking and ruins your day. Well, at that point, you've got, uh, you know, a, you're going to have a tough time getting the bike back home, but you're going to have to buy a new radiator. And guys call us up and say, well, I've kind of tweaked my radiator a little bit. Well, those guards fit. Well, no, I'm sorry, they will not. They have to go on an undamaged radiator. So I highly recommend you put them on before you go riding, you know, when you first get your bike. Because once you fall over and bend that radiator, well, then you're screwed. You've got to buy a new radiator and you've got to buy guards. I think that's about it, guys. Uh, like I said before, it's a fantastic product, well worth the price. We always have them in stock. Uh, they fit well, they install easily. They're extremely tough for side impacts and frontal impacts. They flow air very well. I mean, there's, there's no downside to them. They're lightweight. Uh, and because they're big, they look like they might be uh, adding a boat anchor on your bike, but they're not. They're very lightweight. And uh, I think that's about it. Get out and ride. Do what you can to help with our trails. It's all for now.